Apologies, I'm going to start over. Good afternoon. My name is Cindy Paulzine, and I'm the Wisconsin Lottery Director. Now that you can all hear me, thank you for being here. Um, it's, it's an absolute honor to be here today uh, to celebrate what is an incredible milestone in Wisconsin Lottery history, and also to celebrate Powerball. In fact, just a few days ago, on April 19th, was Powerball's birthday, so it's pretty cool that we can all be here today. Um, just a little bit of background. On, on March 27th, you all recall, the third highest jackpot winning ticket was sold at Speedway in New Berlin at 2.14 p.m. And it was a quick pick. Um, I'm very excited to introduce you today, the winner, which we'll get to in a second. I know you're all very excited to meet him. Um, but this event in Wisconsin really did put us um, in the history of Powerball, and we're very excited about that. Um, the term is no longer a slogan, but we truly are wins, Wisconsin. Um, I'd like to introduce, before we get into it, Secretary Barca, who would like to give a few brief remarks. Well, welcome uh, back to the Department of Revenue and our lottery headquarters, and we just couldn't be more pleased that of all the states that participate in this Powerball game, that we have a Wisconsinite that won the second largest prize uh, ever. And, um, you know, the interesting thing that many of you might find fascinating is that Wisconsin, sort of a medium-sized state, we're 31st in terms of the number of tickets and that we buy in the lottery, but we're sixth in terms of winnings. So we're a lucky state, and today indeed is a lucky day for a Wisconsinite that grew up in the greater Milwaukee area, that still is in the Milwaukee area, and uh, we're so pleased that it's one of our uh, uh, one of our fellow Wisconsinites, and in fact, is a winner. And of course, the other thing I would mention is that all Wisconsinites are winners because um, obviously, due to the lottery, uh, it brings in and generates a uh, significant amount of property tax revenue every year. As a matter of fact, and since the 30 years that it began, it's brought in $4 billion in property tax revenue. Um, it generated uh, last year $170 million in property tax relief. Um, but in addition to that, when you have a big winner like this, it also generates extra revenue um, to be able to relieve everybody else's tax burden. In fact, $36 million um, will help to go to relieve other taxes. So that's another benefit of the lottery. It's been a big plus for this state over the last 30 years, and today is a testament uh, to just one more time with the lucky state of Wisconsin and a lucky Wisconsinite that Cindy's going to introduce to come here and uh, accept this check here today. So thanks for being with us. We're very excited here at the Wisconsin Department of Water Revenue and also at our lottery headquarters. Cindy. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary. You know, in, in some final remarks for me, um, as a lottery director, it's a dream to be able to give a big check away. But it's also a dream come true for our winner. So if Moolah would please bring me the big check, Secretary Barca, if you'd go stand in front of the table. And without further ado, the big Powerball jackpot winner, Manuel Franco. Come on over. Can you smile, Manuel? <laughs> We're all smiling for you, I know. Right. Manuel has prepared a statement that he would like to read. Following that, he is prepared to take a few questions. So I'm going to hand it over to Manuel. I just want to 
I just want to start by saying thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout the years. Uh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> so my name is Manuel Franco. I am actually uh, 24 years old. Um, I really wish that I was a New Berlin resident. I know that a lot of people in New Berlin really wanted a New Berlin resident. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, I am actually um, from West Dallas, and I, that's pretty much my home for a while. Um, so the story that uh, how I won is a bit of a tale. At uh, around 2 p.m., I had left work, and uh, I pretty much felt lucky. You know, it's, it's a weird lucky feeling. It's not natural, not normal at all. Uh, but I walk into the Speedway in New Berlin, and I purchase um, $10 worth of individual, um, well, Powerball tickets. And uh, I, I honestly felt so lucky that I did look up at the camera. And I really wanted to wink at it because I, I just had that lucky feeling. And I, and I know uh, Cindy here has seen it, and she knows that it is true that I, I did look up at that camera because I, I really did feel lucky. Um, didn't look, wink, so I'm kind of disappointed in that, but uh, that's all right. Um, I did stop at that Speedway 13 minutes after work. I don't know if I said that or not. Uh, so how I ended up finding out that I won, I actually do not watch the drawings at nighttime. I didn't even check in the morning. I went to work not even knowing any better to check my, my tickets. Um, oh, boy. I uh, went, left work that day. And I remember at work hearing that uh, you know Powerball winner Wisconsin, and I never thought two things about it at all. I got home and I see the tickets that me and my girlfriend had bought together and that's really what reminded me of the Powerball. I uh, went to go grab those two tickets that we had bought together and I went on my computer and I searched up the Powerball numbers and you know all the news articles that you see underneath the, the Powerball numbers said Wisconsin winner and I'm like well I live in Wisconsin so I probably got a chance you know like, that's, that's all I knew. And uh, I went through the tickets that me and her had bought together and nothing, so uh, I, I was disappointed. Um, I go into my wallet and I reach for the tickets that I had bought, those $10 worth of tickets, so all individual, and I go through them. And uh, I think it was the third ticket. I did win $4, and I was super excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, so never claimed it, by the way, the 4 bucks. Um, I get to what I thought was the last ticket, and... Uh, it didn't win, obviously. Uh, I had all the tickets on my left hand, and I swapped them over to my right because I was discarding them as I went. And uh, all of a sudden, as I change hands, I see that last ticket come out. It's, it was so attached to the other one. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, like, no way. And as dramatically as I, I've said it to many of my friends and families, I looked at it one number at a time, and I saw that first number. I didn't think anything of it, but I knew that it was something special because I normally don't get the first number. It's always the fourth or the fifth or, you know, just the Powerball. And I see that second number, and I'm, my heart starts to, to pump and whatnot. And at that moment, I'm like, no, no freaking way, you know. Like, I pull that ticket in front of it off, and I go straight to that Powerball number, and I look at it, and it, it matched. And uh, at this moment, I was going insane pretty much. And I look back at the three other numbers, and... They all matched, and I don't want to embarrass myself in live TV right, right now, but uh, what I can explain is uh, it, it was amazing. My heart started racing, blood pumping. It, my blood felt warm. I screamed for about five or ten minutes. Uh, good thing that my neighbors didn't hear, you know. Um, it's, uh, it's really amazing to, to just win. Uh, let me just check. So I've played Powerball since I first could when I was 18 years old, six years ago. So I am 24. Um, my very first birthday when I was 18, I did actually buy a Powerball ticket. So it's, it's great to actually win for once. <laughs> Where do you work? What do you do? Uh, do you think that's... No. no? We'll, uh, yeah. we'll get to questions in a little bit. Let's just let him uh, finish his statement, please. So uh, obviously everyone always hopes... Um, when you buy a ticket to actually win it. And 
I can tell you right now that when I won, I wasn't I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for it at all. And uh, I, I got that paranoia that you get, and where you think the whole world's after you. And now I found out that realistically, if you don't tell anybody, nobody knows. And that's how I guess I got to here. Um, so I'm not sure um, what the next chapter is going to bring for my life, um, but I have been setting up the the best financial team, the best lawyer team that I, I could. Um, I just really want to thank Andrew here because he made me much more confident in myself to be here to claim that ticket. And without him, I don't think that uh, I would be a, I'd be here right now talking. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's amazing. It feels like a dream and. Feels honestly like any moment I'm gonna wake up and I'm just gonna be back in my room, you know, in my bed and laying, and it's gonna be a disappointment. But I can see that you guys are all here, and it's not that way. <laughs> <laughs> I simply just can't believe that an ordinary guy like me could ever win, ever win the the Powerball. And the two t two dollars you spend on the ticket um, for that hope that you'd win is, is it's worth it. And I know that because I've won. But uh, it is realistically worth it, and it's amazing. Um, thank you guys for being here, and that's uh, that's all I have to say about my statement. I will answer a couple questions after. Could you sleep at all last night, oh, knowing that today was coming? I couldn't sleep any any day, I, three four hours a day. You know, that's about it. Yeah. What are the first things you plan on doing with the money? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, right now, what I do know is that I want to take a break. Um, want to just let it sink in, make sure I'm not making any bad decisions or anything like that. I do want to be responsible. I do help. I do want to help out the world and, you know, places, but I have to do it correctly and I have to make sure that my future is secure. Any more? Uh, after discussion, I wanted to take the annuity, but I have been convinced otherwise, so I am taking the lump sum. I think we're related, so. Are we? I, I would. <laughs> I mean, have you had people come out of the woodwork yet? Are you prepared for that? Uh, I'm ready, and I know how to say no yeah. to random people. Um, but if he's related, he, I got to give him something. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I am ready for that. Tell us where you grew up, where you went to high school. Uh, that's something that I'm, I, I wish I could, but I, I'm not, okay. right now I'm not going to disclose that. So the second day of work, I, I, after I knew that, I've, that I won, I, I honestly couldn't work. I was just uh, <laughs> I was sweating so much that uh, I'm sure that everyone at work noticed. But and I really wanted to say something to anybody there, and I knew that it was a bad decision, and I pretty much never showed up for work again. That's what happened. <laughs> How do you plan to continue living the, the quote-unquote normal life moving forward? As much as I can, yeah. And I do want to make clear, this ticket was not the one you purchased with your girlfriend. This was your... This was my ticket, yes. And it's really strange for her to actually want to buy Powerball tickets because she normally doesn't play. I'm the one that plays. And I normally have just $5 I spend every you know Powerball drawing. So I end up spending about $10 a week on Powerball tickets or lottery tickets. So you quit your job the day after you inspect the ticket? Two days after. We all dream about what we'll do if we'll win. What were your dreams before you won? I just really wanted to travel the world and, you know, stuff like that. I'm not a big guy that's going to go buy fancy stuff. Like, well, of course, I, I might go buy fancy stuff, but nothing, <laughs> like, <laughs> nothing too big. And I, I'm sure you'll never see me as, like, one of the people who, you know, bank, went bankrupt and broke or anything like that. I plan to live my life normal as as much as possible. Are you a father? No, I'm not. I do speak Spanish, yes. Do you full statement in Spanish, please? Estoy bien contento que gané. Es un sueño que nunca creí que podría pasar. Y estoy bien contento de la fe que tenía yo. I, I don't think so. <laughs> what was your biggest money concern before winning? Um, trying to get that bank account to $1,000 was my biggest concern. Wow. Yeah. So. Just in broad terms, what did you do for your day job? Was it a painter or an engineer? What? I mean, nothing? Okay. No. Were you born, raised in the Milwaukee area? 
Yes, I can say that. Yeah, I was born in Milwaukee. So. Did you go stay in the Milwaukee area after this? Currently, no, and I'm not really going to disclose too much. I actually don't know myself whether or not I'm going to stay or not. I, I won't disclose that either. One day. <laughs> is this your attorney, and if so, what is his name? Uh, Andrew Stoltman, S-T-O-L-T-M-A-N-N, -N, I'm his attorney. So how long after this job to the to the hire Andrew? Um... Well, it's only been, what, like three and a half weeks, so pretty soon. That's, I guess that's just all I'm going to say. What kinds of dreams have you been having about what you can do? It sounds like you want to help people, so what kinds of things have you been thinking about? That's, it's amazing to be in your position. I just, uh, what I've been thinking is that I want to make sure that if I'm helping out somebody, that it's actually, you know, my money is actually going to go and actually help somebody out. Like, I don't know... I understand that there are other charities, but I want to make sure that I'm actually doing a difference. Are you looking to start in the sheriff's office? Possibly, possibly. It's something that I have to think about, but like right now, I have to just let the moment sink in and understand that I don't want to make any bad decisions. Have you bought any more Powerball tickets? I don't plan to play anymore, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to. I really did. And that's why I looked up and I didn't do it. No. Yeah. Uh, my dad cried a lot. Um, my mom, she thought I was in trouble. Uh, and she, she's, she's like, you need to tell me the truth. Like, is that really what, what happened? And I said, yes, mom, that, that is true. <laughs> I won't just, yeah, I won't discuss uh, anything like that. Uh, for family members, yes. Like, if they do want to continue school, I will help them with their education, yes. Are you still driving the same car you were driving when you were going to work? Yes. <laughs> what is it? Uh, I'm not going to disclose that one either. <laughs> what year is it? It's newish. What have the past three and a half weeks been like for you, kind of keeping this away from the public eye? How have you been living your life? Have you been on the edge? Scared people are going to find out? Oh, for sure. Yeah, like I, like I said, like I, I honestly thought there was a, somebody behind me every single day, and uh, it is it is really hard to live your life um, knowing that you have, you know, the ticket that everyone wants. Um, but realistically, it, it it wasn't that for me, and there was nobody behind me. I just felt that way. How did I claim to take it? I came here. Just today. Oh, I had my attorney um, deal with most of that. What have you been doing with the ticket since the day you, when you realized you looked at it and you had won? Can you tell us what you did with it to secure it? Oh, to like to bring it here? Yeah, I mean, what have, where's the ticket been for the last three and a half weeks? Oh, I kept it in a safe, but in my house. Yeah. yeah. Which is where? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, a couple of people did know. Yeah. So was this money you, you thought you could ever have on your own without the lottery? Oh no, no. God no, no. <laughs> I, I needed the lottery's help for this. So. Yeah. I'm gonna answer one more question and then uh, that's it. What's the next thing you're gonna do when you walk out of here today as part of your winning? I'm just gonna take off somewhere and just honestly just take my time with it. Just think it over and I talk to my family and just make sure that I'm doing it, I'm spending the money the right way. That's it. No, uh, and I think that's it. Yep. That's it, talking. everybody. Thank you so very much for being here. Well. You did very well.
Mike is up.